also why we wedge the clay so it won't be too wet out here and it won't stick. Paper around it so it doesn't the clay doesn't stick to the um, pan when you roll it around and set it over there and so now that we have our slab you want to poke out any air bubbles or pockets that were left over after the wedging process and the slab roller okay now that the air bubbles are gone, you want to take this rubber rib right here and smooth out the surface of the slab so it doesn't have the imprint of the cloth from the slab roller. Okay, and now we're going to make the bottom. You want to draw a straight horizontal line across the bottom because that's the bottom part that's going to wrap around and it needs to be flat in order to fit. so it has room to fit around the entire can. Okay, you can make the top of the candle holder. That'll go right here. Any shape you want. You can have it be flat, or you can have it be curvy. Like this, it doesn't matter. I think I'm going to make one. Okay. Now, you can do it. this uh, decorating like the can. You can use different imprintations. Or you can stamp it out with these. <laughs> However you want to design. And so now we're going to take this and wrap it around here. Now line the bottom to the bottom of the clay. Right here. Roll it. Yeah. Stops around right here. So we're gonna make a mark on both sides so we know where to cut it. 
We're going to use this clay right here for the bottom. Now we can move it onto this work floor that I have right here. And now we have to seal this together. You can cut off. I made it a little long right here just so I can make sure it fits. Now that it does, I can cut off the excess clay that I have. Okay, and see so on the front here we have the design. Even if you want, you can still imprint it on here. Okay, you can make designs with whatever you want. Okay. But we still have to make the bottom of this so it's airtight. Now, we're going to use this excess clay here and re-wedge it to make the bottom and slab it out. Okay, now I've re-slabbed this out and wedged it out for the bottom. We want to do the same thing and pop the air bubbles that could be in there. Okay, and then now we're going to use this rubber wedge, or um, rubber rib right here. Okay. I want to take this and just set it right on here and trace all around it. And now this will be the bottom of our title. And now we want to smooth out these edges right here. I asked you about the one using them all. And now you have an attached bottom. You can use any amount of tools that you want to smooth it out. Sponge. There's a scoring tool. Brush.
wooden tool, pin tool, and then once it's like this, you want to cover it up and let it dry a little bit, but not too much, because after a day or so, you want to take this can out and let it dry alone because it'll shrink when it dries. And that's how you make a candle holder.